very pleasant good night my beloved brothers and sisters in christ and outside the body of christ well once again this is your christian brother eric braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country trinidad and tobago the land of my nativity the land of my birth trinidad and tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue caribbean sea well brothers and sisters in this part 10 video i just want to say that the white people are not edomics and even some of the white people is edom at the Eden mix are these black people in the black African community throughout the United States are teaching say what if the white people are Edom say what we still have to love them they are our white brothers and sisters brothers and sisters these black Africans who are claiming to be the natural black Jews of the Bible and who are claiming to be the 12 tribes of Israel the natural Hebrew people Israelite people of the Bible they are not that they are making a false claim but the thing that they are the 12 tribes of Israel when they are not the 12 tribes of Israel they are being fooled and they are being deceived brothers and sisters my white brothers and sisters I just want to in this part 10 video I just want to say that there's a big debate taking place in the United States today between white in the white community and the black community whether God is white or whether God is black whether Jesus Christ has a white messiah or a black messiah well this little Christian boy Eric Braxton are saying that both all the white people who are want to find out whether God is white they are wasting time and all the black people in the black community who want to find out whether Jesus Christ was a black messiah both all are wasting time. Yes, this little Christian boy, this little Christian child, Eric Braxton, are saying so. You all will say, I am insulting you all, but I'm not insulting you all. I'm teaching you all a fact. And the fact that I'm teaching you all for you all to wake up, to come to this truth, to come to this reality, to come to this consciousness, is that the God of the Bible possess supreme power and he can manifest himself as a white God, a black God, a pink and a green and a yellow and a blue God. Now, since you all know that, then where, where is it, where, 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 what is important, why then we have no debates again to find out whether God is white? Because by you all know that God possess supreme power, he can manifest himself in any color. And whatsoever color God manifests himself to the human family as a white God, we will have to accept that. Whether as a black God, we will have to accept that. Whether as a pink or green God, we will have to accept that. So by I saying that and teaching you all that facts, Eric Braxton, this little Christian boy, this little Christian child way down in Trinidad, I will be not following all your footsteps to have no debate whether God is white or whether God is black. And Eric Braxton will be not joining all your debate whether on the Winfrey Opera show or on any TV show or radio show, neither in the electronic media, in the electronic press media to find out whether God is white or black. And all the research that you all are doing in the white community and in the black community, to find out whether God is white or black, Eric Braxton will not be doing that research because all that is a waste of so-called time, my black brothers and white brothers and sisters. Since we know the color that we are, that white and black and brown, what is most important for us to love one another because love is the fulfillment of the law. That's what is the more important. My white brothers and sisters, you all are being caught up in this big debate whether God is white or whether God is black. And the black are being caught up in this big debate whether the Messiah Jesus Christ is white or whether he is black. I want you all white folks and black folks to come together and desist from that debate whether God is white or whether God is black and come together in unity and brotherly camaraderie unity. Open a bank account. Have a fun where you all could donate money in that fund whether it be 20 each person put 20 or 10 dollars or how much they could put according to their ability and raise a couple of million dollars buy food buy medicine buy clothing buy semen buy bricks and go in and visit these different tribes in africa and in south america because a lot of these tribes in south america they are living in in the, in the, in the on the reservation they don't have proper houses they don't have tank to full water. They, they, the women are running around up to this day with their breast naked, with their private part. We see it in YouTube because a lot of these these films, film makers, when they go down in Brazil, they film them naked and they show, the, show it on YouTube. When you go in Africa, they film these naked men, have their big testicles and their buttocks outside, and the women are naked. They are not clothed properly. So buy food and medicine 
and send that aid to the to the to the people in Africa in the different tribes who in the total object who are in, in object poverty to bring that comfort to them so they have proper clothing they will have proper medicine and the material that you all buy that will able to build little huts for them with a little door because none of the, the huts are no door it is open right we five we could hold five person the next one could hold four person according to the family bring that relief to them that is more important and to find out whether god is white or whether god is black doing what i instructing you all to do is more important to find out whether jesus christ has a, a white messiah or whether he was born or whether he is black that is not important you all hear what this little christian boy is saying yes and i will be making more videos to reinforce to concretize that that truth to concretize that awareness in the black community and white community so my black brothers and sisters and white brothers and sisters follow eric braxton advice and put this in practice so all my white brothers and sisters and black brothers and sisters who will happen to see this video on the internet and the world wide web after watching this video share the knowledge with others tell others about the video so that they too will hear what eric braxton will have to say and this is from that debate to find out whether God is white or whether God is black. Because God possess all colors and he can manifest himself in any color. You all are wasting time when you all have these national debate whether God is white or whether God is black. There is more important thing to find out whether God is white or God is black. By, by, by raising these funds, collecting these millions of dollars, both white and black coming together, opening a fund, pooling that money and helping people in the poor community also in america and that part of that money could go and help people in africa and in the different tribes in in south america that is more important to find out in trying to find out whether god is white or whether god is black or whether the first man god created was a black man or whether the first man god created was a was a was a brown or a blue man whether the first man God created was a white man, I hear Braxton accept that. Whether he was a black man, I hear Braxton accept that. Whether it was a green or a pink man, I accept that. Whether Jesus Christ was a pink a pink man, I accept that. That he was a black man, I accept that. Whether he was a white messiah, I accept that. So you see, Eric Braxton is not on colors. And it's time you all wake up and adopt that attitude. Adopt that attitude brothers and sisters it's growing up time for you all and i will encourage you all to grow up that way and adopt that right attitude yes i will remind you all because eric braxton have grown up physically and both spiritually that's why i'm not on colors and i'm not debating and i am not doing no research to find out whether jesus christ was white or jesus christ was black why because any color is i accept that because all colors become is of god and he can manifest himself in any color you all get the facts now ah but majority of you all are not thinking that why you all are not thinking that because you all haven't grown up to adopt that attitude and i Eric braxton are teaching you all to adopt that attitude ah brothers and sisters ah, you see you see brothers and sisters i'm teaching you all the right thing and i'm in leading you all in the right direction my dear brothers and sisters my dear brothers and sisters in the black community and in the white community but but you all doesn't have that attitude now that's why you, both of you all are on that foolishness and what is that nonsensical foolishness having debate whether god is white or whether god is black trying to find out whether jesus christ is white or whether he is black or brown or green that is not important that is not important but you all think it is important Ah, that is not important because when jesus christ come back to this earth whether he come as a white god the human family can't change that we'll have to accept that and whether he come back as a black god no human being can change that we will have to accept that and whether he come back to this earth as a brown god or a pink or a blue god we all will have to accept that and there's nothing we could do about that so it's time you all wake up to the truth and reality that this little christian boy eric Braxton, way down in trinidad and tobago are bringing forth to you all and teaching you all to to embrace this truth and comprehend it my brothers and sisters in the white community and in the black community having watched this video will you all have a heart of change and accept what i'm saying embrace it a full hundred percent and adopt that attitude well all those who will do that i welcome that so receive it in the mighty name of jesus christ receive that comprehension in this in your spirit in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ receive it receive it my black brother and sister receive it my 
white brother and, and sister and whosoever all over the world who will see this video receive that truth in order name but in the name of our lord and our savior jesus christ amen well i've come to the end of this video may the grace of god be with you and with me and with the human family from this day for time forevermore shalom peace see you all in the next video soon bye bye my friends